Next up is a product inspired by our new work from home normal. Hi Sharks, my name is Parm, like Parmesan. I know it's cheesy. I'm from Sacramento, California and the CEO of Mute Me. And I'm Ty, like the tie that you wear. And I'm also from Sacramento, California and the CFO. We're here today asking for 200,000 in exchange for 10% of our company, Mute Me. And joining us virtually today are our two other co-founders and wives, Hanzeep and Brittany. Hi Sharks, I'm so excited to be here today. My name is Hundeep and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Mute Me. I'm Brittany and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Mute Me. We wish they could be here with us today. Yeah, right. They're so lucky we let them on the tank. We're the real talent. We should have been on there. Tell me about it. You know it took Ty a month to memorize his five lines? Huh. I had them down in a day. We would have been flawless. We would have been. We, we can, can hear you! you. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way. Well, now there is. Sharks, this is Mute Me, the world's first illuminated mute button. You press Mute Me when you need to be muted, the lights change color so it's never disputed. Tap it again when it's your turn to speak, the light stops you from letting the wrong words leak. It's a perfect tool when you're multitasking or when you have a coworker like Mr. Wonderful who keeps on ranting. It helps others around you know if you're busy, no more wondering, hey, he's not on a call, is he? Stainless steel is super neat. Custom engraving, it can't be beat. It's the hottest product of the year. No more conference call slip ups or fears. Whether you're working or learning, our button makes things easy. Don't worry, we know this rhyme's pretty cheesy. Sharks, we hope you found our pitch just a little bit funny. But unmute yourselves, it's time to make some money. There you go, there you I like go. that. Good job. So run through really quick all the scenarios. Just give me like four or five where you think someone would use this. So 2020, one of the top lines that was used was you're, you're on, on mute. mute. Now at times have you heard a dog bark, doorbell ring, different scenarios where someone's talking and they don't realize they're on mute. Everyone's trying to get their attention and they just don't have that indication that they are. Why not just do a browser extension though and just make it really, really big on the screen where everybody's looking? Because it takes up screen real estate, you don't want to take up additional space on your screen. There's like eight different conferencing platforms, right? When you're interfacing with all those different confer conferencing platforms, it's not easy. So our button, you plug it in, you press the button, it mutes and unmutes. How much are you selling them for? We're selling them for $39 retail. And what do they cost to make? It's $11.62 right now. How did you come up with this? And tell us about your background. Uh, we actually have a mutual friend that came up with the idea. I worked on a remote working project with him two years ago, and Ty is a technical marketing manager at the largest all remote company in the world. So we decided to go down the path of developing something ourselves. We prototyped it in about a month, launched to Kickstarter, and it just takes off. And so What's we ended take, up- Give me an idea what takes off. Take yeah, so we did- um, So we did 145,000 on Kickstarter. Dollars or units? Dollars. dollars. And Indiegogo was 135,000, so uh, we did 280,000 in crowdfunding. What about real sales? What's happened? We've done uh, 61,000. 61,000 dollars. How'd you, how'd you sell them? On our website, you'll want to know also, we are in every Staples in the United States. You are? The last four weeks. But well, what have they sold in these last four weeks? So we've sold um, just over 150 units. That's um, it? Where are they putting it in the store? Very front. If you walk into a Staples right now, there's a table there. What have they said about the feedback? Because 150 units is low. They haven't promoted us in any marketing yet, um, and that's to come in the next couple weeks. Well, no, they here are promoting you because they've basically got walk-in trade, and it's the first thing you see. Footfall overall everywhere is not where it should be as of right now. No, but, but hold on, hold on. I think Peter's asking a great question. I mean, to back that up though, is did they tell you the test on how many doors they're putting you in? 1,067 stores, every store in the United States. We've gone to a lot of stores and, and the one thing that we're trying to get them to do most often is you see the value in the illumination. Yes. And that's something that the stores run a battery pack and the battery pack dies. You've got to come up with a way to sell it. Do something fun with it on TikTok. You have got to be great content creators. You're a product and you haven't figured out how to sell it. I mean, you're not even close. That's what I think you need to be successful. So for those reasons, I'm out. I'm sorry to hear that, Mark. I think this goes to zero in retail in about 90 days. There'll be a discount bin for nine bucks. <laughs> That's not a problem. This should be completely done online. Part of the strategy is actually a business to business strategy. Because the top is stainless steel, it can be laser engraved with any logo. So we've had a lot of customers- okay, stop where selling they... for a second, because I want a minute just to drop out. I'm gone, I'm out, I'm history, thank you. Sorry to hear that. What you've done here is you've created a great product that's come out of the pandemic. I've got a company in Asia. It's like the third or fourth largest gadget company online. We sell tens of millions worth of gadgets. And I'm thinking, could I sell this? I think I could, but sadly, it's gonna be a race to the bottom on price. That's where I think it's at. 
you have other competitors in this market? So we're first to market. There are some competitors out there that are trying to... They saw our Kickstarter and they decided do to ramp up. Do you have any IP it. at all on it? We do. We have a provisional patent, so we're the only mute button that isn't a microphone. So we that's work not with bad. All, yeah, mean, we work with worse, all yeah. the no, microphones. So we're the only mute button that's not a microphone and is illuminated. We have factories in Shenzhen. I can make this for you now. We'd love yeah, to work. We would love to work with you. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You've got no proprietary circuit board in here. This is probably in volume less than 70 or 80 cents in time. Yeah, we, we are currently manufacturing it at $11. Ouch. We, we would love to work with any one of you. I'll give you an offer. But the problem is I, I have to redo your business. Every one of the sharks said something that's critical, you know? You gotta make these things for $1.50. And at the end of the day, this gotta be $19.99, maybe $14.99. I mean, certain companies are, like you know, targeting them at like $9.99. So anyway, I, unfortunately, I, I have to give you a very sharky offer, $200,000 for 50%. Uh, 50%? 50 Ooh. 5-0. Five zero. Five zero. That's not an unreasonable huh. offer for what yeah. you guys got here. The yes. valuation is crazy, it, it is crazy, but I have to put so much work and I'm probably gonna have to give percentages to a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Why don't you see if you get an offer from somebody else? If you don't, that's the only offer you got. Well, if you don't that's get an true. offer from somebody else, then it's gonna go up. Who's still in? Are we, the three of us? No, I hate this. <laughs> Tell us what you really think. <laughs> uh, listen, guys, I see the benefit of it. I'm so on the fence about it. And whenever I, I feel that way, I have to go with my gut. And I'm so sorry, but I'm out. Guys, so <sighs> I'm, I'm really torn. Be torn towards us. I, I, <laughs> no, I'm really torn. If I do this and I go back and my guys say, what the f are you doing? Because we, <laughs> we you, you're just investing in a button that goes red and green. And we could, <laughs> we could create that tomorrow. And I, and I just, I feel really quite worried about hey, that. Hey, you know what, guys? I'm out. The thing is, there's a lot of simple things out there that sell well. Just because it's simple so doesn't guys, necessarily mean that it's a bad seriously, idea. Honestly, seriously, guys, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to say I'm out. All right. We appreciate it. Good luck, guys. All right, take care, Appreciate guys. it. That's a tough one. Yeah. They messed up. Um, I think they look at something and they think it's simple. They don't necessarily you know, yeah. think that this is going to grow, but I know it's going to grow. It's going to be something that's going to end up on a lot of students' desks. They're going to be sorry in a couple years, and yeah. that's okay. And it's going to be uh, the ring doorbell all over again. Oh, the ring doorbell all so. over again. <laughs> the only good thing about this is if it actually worked for real on people. <laughs>